I mentioned our borders a moment ago, and I want to return to that subject very briefly. As a representative from Western New York, the security of our borders is an issue of great concern to me. Both our northern and southern borders face unique and separate challenges, and the bill addresses each in turn. The 3,000 new agents funded by the bill will mean that over 17,800 brave men and women will patrol our borders by the end of 2008. And at the same time, we will increase northern border funding by 33% and 500 new agents will be placed there. As important as this is, border security efforts must never blind us to the deep connection we share with our neighbor to the north. Ours is a 200-year-old relationship that has benefited both of our nations immensely. In fact, I often say that people in northern border communities don't see Canadian towns and cities as being in another country. Instead, we see it as one nation with a river running through it. The travel and trade which crosses the northern border every single day between America and Canada are critical to our economy and to the northern economic security. We must never sacrifice our relationship with Canada in a misguided attempt to increase border security. I have long said that economic security and physical security are not mutually exclusive. We can and we must have both. 